G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be unboxing uh, something pretty special. A, uh, a new built Kyosho Icarus from uh, 1985, <laughs> if I remember right. Um, anyway, we'll crack it open and have a look. Alrighty, and there it is. So there's our new car. Marvellous. It's got the, the Mudstar tyres on the back, of course. Mint condition, got to be happy with that. And the uh, Le Mans 360 ST in the back, how it should be. Doesn't have any radio in it, of course. Um, but that's alright, we can stick radio in it. I plan this one to be on the shelf anyway. Uh, I do have another one I can run. I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, but as you can see, it's all brand new. Anyway, uh, what came with it? So I got the leftover parts that need to go in. Or has it got shock oil? We'll have a look. <laughs> Maybe some in the front. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, but there's some oil in there and some spare parts. Don't know if you can see that because of the light. I think it's all right, yeah. Yeah, just some screws and stuff. And the, the rest of the part tree with the servo mounts and the, uh, the light pieces. And we've got a new wing. And a new body. Of course the cage is on it. <laughs> and the speed controller dust cover. And we also have an aerial. And we've got a manual. Fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, this one I'll uh, very soon I'll I'll paint the body. Um, actually, is there stickers? I think there is, but maybe not. Ah, oh, there they are. Yep. There we go. So we've got the decals. <coughs> very nice. So yeah, it's all ready to be completed, basically. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, very soon I'll uh, put some radio in it, probably. Um, not even really sure about that, but I'll, I'll put a servo in for the steering, uh, just so the wheels aren't flopping around, you know. And um, yeah, get the body painted, stickers on, and have it all looking nice. So I'll do a video on that. Um, so that'll be coming up soon. But I do have another one here that I'll use for my runner. It's a bit dusty, it's been sitting on the shelf a long time. Um, and the previous owner obviously had something sitting on top of the cage. It's got a, a fair bend in here uh, on both sides that I've tried several times over the years to get the bend out. Can't do it. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine gave me a, uh, a new cage and new body and some new nerf bars for it not so long ago so i'll put those on and uh, i'll probably get some mci decals for this one and uh it'll be looking nice um although i've still got some worn out uh, mudstar tires there that's all right anyway this one was a runner it's uh again it's still got the 360 st in the back so it's you know a stock runner so yeah i'll probably uh, pretty that up a little bit get a video of it too should be good alrighty that's about it I'm pretty happy with that one I'll probably bring the camera over and uh, just you know go around it a little bit and uh, you know show you up close and uh, yeah it's another one where the the packing was very nice I bought it off a guy on Facebook actually uh, don't remember his last name but rich rich was his first name so thanks rich for the great packing and the and the deal <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, uh, yeah. So we'll bring the camera over and have a bit of a look.
so that's about it for this video guys thanks for watching um so yeah i'll get this one painted up and uh sitting on the shelf all pretty and uh this one here i'll get that painted up too and give it a run um the chrome on the on the wheels i'm not happy with i think i still will look for some new wheels for it but they'll be good for running it um yeah anyway so got the body for that got the rest of the parts for that pretty happy we can get it happening <laughs> all righty uh if you're new here subscribe that'd be awesome uh leave a thumb up if you like the video and catch you on the next one